really good looking sculpt. Um, and then, you know, getting to here, I'm really trying to push, you know, maybe went over a little over the top with the, with the gore and stuff. So I pulled it back a little. Um, the doll I want to be about six and a half inches high, uh, almost like an action figure kind of height, um, but still a fashion doll that's posable and manipulatable. But my initial designs after looking at the fashion and kind of throwing things together that I liked were kind of these dolls um, where I was just using the fashion to kind of make a statement with each one and kind of give uh, light to each one of their different personalities. So I wanted to push it a little bit farther and that's when I came up with my first finished design, Wendy Warm Ridden. Uh, Wendy has all the kind of death metal accoutrements. She's got the bullet belt, uh, she's got her denim jacket with the patches, she's got the leather straps, um, the kind of inverted cross pattern, and since she was cursed by the evil band Bubonic Birth, her uh, costuming and over the top kind of costuming, she, her hair became the worms that her costume represented. <clears throat> uh, second character, oh, and by the way, she is the lead vocalist. She screams like this, but she's like the sweetest person in the world. She always closes her eyes when she murders a zombie. She really feels bad about it, and she's like the sweetheart of the group. This is Valerie Venom Kiss. She is the drummer, and her curse is that she has big, giant, venomous spider legs for hair. Um, she's kind of the trickster of the group. She's always constantly playing pranks on everybody, but it's this kind of way of thinking that really helps them out when they're you know, up against bubonic birth and battling zombies. And then the third member of their power trio is Chelsea Hell Janes and she was cursed to kind of have this chains, metal chains for her hair. And she is the guitar player and also the tough one of the group. She's the first one to jump in the mosh pit and throw her elbows around with the guys and the first one to like murder zombies and, and love that whole kind of thing. So those are the three members of the Death Dolls. And if you're gonna be in a band, you need a tour bus. So the Death Dolls have to have the most gruesome and evil uh, tour bus that ever was. And uh, it also doubles as a carrying case. If you rip out its spine, it becomes a handle and you can carry around your Death Dolls in it. And then um, I wanted to just see if this kind of idea was possible. So um, we weren't really required to make a vehicle, but I, I mocked one up just as kind of a proof of function and scaling. So what this would do is it would be the tour bus playset for your dolls. Kelly, can you just be able to pull that spread out? It, it might be better. I'm going to go ahead and set it there. Um, it's the tour bus, but it also doubles as a stage for your dolls to be displayed. So it comes down and opens up, the skull swings forward, the chair would swing over into the speakers and the amplifiers, and you can take your favorite death metal album and use it as the backdrop for the stage to display your dolls on. And the dolls would go right in front and be to scale here for the for the stage. So they would just stand here. You would hope you would have your favorite metal album in here, and it's kind of like the backdrop. So it's this whole kind of visual presentation. And then when you're done, it all closes back up into the uh, vehicle playset carry case. <clears throat> um, just kind of looking at prices from Barbie. Uh, you know, I know this is nothing like Barbie, but the vehicle is similar in size. Uh, I would like to have uh, Bluetooth wireless uh, speaker technology installed in this. And I looked it up and it's actually really pretty cheap and cost effective to install that kind of thing in here. Um, so I was hoping to keep it more around the $55 range. The packaging, when it came to the packaging, I had kind of one idea in mind and that was controversy. Um, this kind of thing, even though it looks evil and offensive, is a, is a visual magnet to the people that kind of throw themselves into this lifestyle. And also it just looks creepy and, and disturbing. And uh, part of what sells in this world is controversy. 
This is an album from one of my favorite bands, Cannibal Corpse. And uh, it's basically zombies butchering people. And when it came to that point, yeah. when you're getting ready for a presentation, you also had a couple typos. Okay. From spell check. Okay. Because overall, I thought, you know, your verbal backstory and getting us up to speed on the theme was fantastic. Okay. Um, the, your gift was kind of fun in the beginning. It probably could have been static more than halfway okay. through. Um, you had a lot to get through. Right. But I mean, I'm being super picky because it, I think it was a great presentation. Thank you. But I just think spell check, double right. checking your presentation, pre-flighting it before you go present it. Okay. Thank you. Well, I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was really fun. And Thank obviously you. Obviously, you really thought about it. You really thought about your, your customer, where you're going to sell it, how you're going to sell it. My only question is, how are you going to make those clothes at that scale? Because making soft goods doll clothes, at, even at 11 and a half, is challenging. Um, making it for six inch dolls? Uh, for the doll I did, but I I mean, I do want to do at, something at where some you At some point you were it. saying like you could you know, be extra yeah. and stuff. It's going to be very hard to make clothes at that scale. Okay. I mean, that could be wrong, but I mean, to, to me, um, you know, if her clothes were all plastic and there were just a few things that you added on and the hair was soft, good, okay. um, you might have something that you could do at that tiny scale, or you might want to make it bigger so that you can really make the soft. It depends on what you think your customer or you know the people that you're selling it to would want. Okay. And the only other thing I thought of is why wouldn't you have them have some music? Uh, would they be a real band with real music? Yeah, I mean, um, like that is things that you'd want to give away or sell. Well, well, and. Part of my idea was like I, I still play in a band, and you know, like I said, there's three things you don't get into this kind of music for, and that's money, fame, and girls. So you have to do everything yourself. And I thought it'd just be fun to like play a show, and I could set these up there, and and you know, sell them myself even kind yeah. of thing. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely thinking about about that because we write stuff, but I also wanted there to, to be like. If you wanted to put your favorite metal album as the backdrop, you could also play the music from that album. And um, but definitely there should be music. I, I would say with it. Well, you should have a song. But I think they're very cool. I love your backstory. I think it's hilarious. Thank you. Really, really good. I have a great presentation too. Thank you. I think she needs more small stuff. I can do that. <laughs> but that's just <laughs> <laughs> details. Details. <laughs> I like when you say more skulls and not less, though, so that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's why you're going for that's why. Someone yeah, yeah. Help. It was kind of a, a struggle to, like, how far should I push it? And then, you know, yeah. Oh, so, well, because you okay. don't worry about it. It's okay. Super chip, so yeah, exactly. It's collective. Yeah, just go for it. Okay. Price, price could be high on this. could be right. These people are so into it. Yeah. Right? They'll throw their money like right. they throw their bodies yeah. at it, you know, so. That's the part about the not being in it for money. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Does the dog come with the, uh, the bus or the bus is sold separately? The bus would be sold separately as kind of a, a music station awesome. that, that doubled as a carry case and, and stage and tour bus kind of place. I think but, if it was sold separately, for sure you get Bluetooth. Right, know, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I thought you guys played some great songs, and it came out that you're very passionate about great. the subject. Thank you. <laughs> I think. Good projection, <laughs> very nice presentation. Um, I almost want the doll to have to like, like who is this? <laughs> I was like, if you're going to go yeah. for it. Go for it. Go yeah. for okay. it. Okay. Okay. I have to say, Kelly was really, because you know, he knows this is like a toy class. Right? Yeah. And so I have a little girl. I'm like, just go, for, go for it, go. And he's like, are you sure? <laughs> no, I mean, so you can even go more. Yeah, and then the, the girl, like, like the worm hair, mm -hmm. and I could see like worms crawling out of her boobs. Yeah. Oh. You know, like yeah. really cool. Okay. Like, yeah, stuff through like hit, it, hit okay. the theme really hard, you know? Okay. <laughs> like, go for it. But, uh, yeah, just even the, even the coloration of the hair doesn't have to be even normal hair color. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. You know, when you look at stuff like Monster High, there's some of that stuff. You look at the shoes and the heels almost like heels, they look like they're just over Right. Yeah. Really yeah. pretty. You could do a lot of spider webs. Yeah, like you could have more spider webs. I think those are looking good. 
I can go back yeah, to the really um, bigger cool. picture of it, too. Yeah. Yeah. And I like the idea of the tour bus because it's so convenient. Well, I just thought <laughs> if it was just going to be a tour bus, yeah. there's kind of no point to have it with a doll like this, but I thought as a display no, case that transforms. Like that's and what these people are going to do. Yeah, yeah, just set it up. When and you have a collection, it's a nice environment. Okay. That kind of goes, and maybe her instrument weapon like sits on it somehow. Okay. And, yeah. and so that she can stand on this or on display. Two people want to put her on display. Right. Okay. Hey, grab the package. That's, that's a great idea. Okay. Yeah, because you could really do some crazy detailed stuff on just the stage. Yeah, like a whole bunch like of like really environmental stuff. Yeah. I know some of the guys that you know are on stage will have really elaborate microphone stands, mm -hmm. so I could play off that for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can make them look cool at some of the. Oh, that's great. Oh, like yeah. an ear cut, like goes on an arm or something, earrings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, you, and you could trace some of that stuff with, yeah. you know, with patches. Interesting. Huh. I mean, like, yeah. Because, like, their bracelets could almost be like earrings yeah, kind of thing. Right. I could see that like size wise. Or but, you know, wind things around the arm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, create flexibility with patches. The patches, yeah. yeah, the patches, maybe that's why, then maybe they go on the doll stand, you know, and then you can take them on. Yeah. But it's a nice gift for the person who buys it to collect all the things. You know, like right. Stuff for them. And these people are like super collectors. This is my drummer's album, and like he, he'll do anything to go get his, you know, the newest Did kind you do of the crazy no, I wish. That yeah, that, well, that's kind of the thing is yeah. when Cannibal Corpse did that first kind of album cover, that just opened the floodgates, and now everybody has to do something gruesome. But it is really good artwork, and I did the uh, artwork for the Skull and the Worms for that was Bubonic Birth is the name of the original band I was asked to be in, and we played the whiskey, and so we had all the themed kind of stuff going on like that. Um, it was just. It, you know, when you can get over kind of the goofy ridiculousness of it, it's really fun. And at the time, I was running a small business and I lived on the 405, so it's also like very therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I was trying to think, how am I going to do this without offending absolutely everyone in the room? Well, I, think I think your passion did that. Great, thank you. That's what I wanted to show is that, you know, I wasn't even always into it, but when you get into the band, it's like every day you get a little heavier and a little more gruesome, and it's like, oh, let's just do it, you know? So I guess I'll take that kind of same mentality into refining it. Yeah. And there's different markets for different things, and obviously because you're not doing anything for little girls, right. this other market gives you the opportunity to do yeah. really go for it. Right. And do yeah. all this detail and everything that you have. Okay. Um, you know, yeah. And then the hair, all those crazy hair, so creative. I love, I Thank love you. the That's one of my favorite hair. Yeah. Yeah. hair. Thank you. I wanted Absolutely. it to still be able to like, you could manipulate it, but then not just sitting there poking little strands of hair in. It seems like that's kind of been done before, so. I just want to add that I know I've told you this, but it just, I want to make sure it doesn't look like it's just an unfinished accident. It just make sure that it looks like oh, the side of her head is shaved okay. with intention, that it doesn't look like a proportional issue. Okay. You know? And then in that state, when they, they were all dressed up like that, they definitely had more obnoxious makeup. Right. And then I think I would also take an opportunity and add just a couple little um, shots of what those over the top masks you were referencing yeah. would look like. Yeah. Because then it would just show kind of normal, then going like super crazy grotesque, right. I think would be relevant. And I definitely, I want to do that. Yeah. yeah. I wanted to see if I could actually sculpt the doll and make a play set and kind of have to sacrifice a few things along the line. But, but don't, go back and just make it right. Definitely. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.